Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a dedicated Factorio server. This will replace my old video because I figured out how to play and run the server at the same time. To do this, you need to set up a, another instance, which you'll have to download. So to do this, open up Chrome and go to factorio.com. Click login or make an account if you don't have one. Sign in and then click the download button and download the 64 zip package not the installer and this will take a little bit to download so in the meantime I'll show you how to get your world to do this open up file explorer and in the address bar type in percent sign app data percent sign navigate to factorio and then saves and in here it'll show you all the worlds you've saved. If there's nothing in here, you need to start up Factorio and generate a new world. So find one you want and copy it. And now that it's done downloaded, just drag it to your desktop and then right click it and click extract all. Now navigate to bin x64. And in here, this is where you're going to start your server and paste your world. So go ahead and paste it. I'm also going to create a shortcut on my desktop so I can easily access it. You can also delete that zip file. Now we're going to head back to the server folder to make the file to run it. So right click and click new text document and you don't need to name it anything. Go ahead and edit it. I'm using Notepad++, but you can use normal Notepad. And go ahead and type in factorio.exe space hyphen hyphen start dot server space and in quotations put the name of your save. Mine is main.zip, but yours would be whatever the name of your save is dot zip. Then go to file save as and name it start.bat then go ahead and double click the start and delete the old text document and your server will start up now for others outside your network to access it you will need to forward a port UDP port 34197 if you don't know what I'm talking about you need to look up how to forward a port but all you need to know is you need to forward UDP 34197. You can change that port in the config if you want to, um, and you will not need to forward the port if you're just doing it within your own network. The IP to join if you're on the same computer would be localhost with no spaces. So to install mods, you need to navigate out to the main folder, and you need to create a new folder called mods. So go to new, folder and it needs to be mods all lowercase. Now the best way to do this is to install mods on your single player and then copy and paste them into that folder. So to do this just click on the address bar and go to percent sign app data percent sign then navigate to factorio go to mods and copy and paste your mod and the mod list JSON file. Then just go back and then the mods folder you created, go ahead and paste both of those files. Also, to close your server properly, do control C and then X out. Then go back and run your server and you'll see the mod loaded in the console. So that's how you install a dedicated Factorio server. Please like, comment, and subscribe.